Super Bowl Sunday is upon us once again. Christians love to scream and yell at a sports game of any kind. Very few of them will scream and yell for Jesus Christ, will get out and witness, get all their lazy behind, so witness for the lost and pray for them. But they love to scream and yell at sports games. Can you imagine the difference this planet would be in the world if Christians would actually be showing the enthusiasm they show for sports they do for Jesus Christ? But now I want to talk about the Super Bowl in general, why I boycott it every year. Every year I do this video, and every year I have to redo it over and over again because the devil does not want this getting put out. He makes my voice get slow. He pauses it. Satan, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. You have no power over me. Just go away. Shoo. Skedaddle. The Super Bowl week is the largest sex trafficking time frame in the entire planet, year in and year out. Little girls, young girls, preteens, teens, adult girls, adult women are snatched off the streets, sold into sex slavery, raped over and over and over again for money. And hundreds of millions of dollars potentially change hands in the city that hosts the Super Bowl every year. And yet Christians watch this game and they support it. It makes me sick to my stomach. And the, the Super Bowl people will say, well, you know, we made a little dent this year. A person got caught or a little ring got caught. Tiny, tiny pinprick in the humongous hole, which is a whole dam bursting. And it makes me sick. They could stop this if they wanted to. They won't do it. How many of you out there have a sister, a wife, a niece, an aunt, a cousin, a daughter, a granddaughter? How would you like to see them being treated like this, being snatched off the street, raped for money over and over and over again, sexually enslaved? See, I have a, a deep love for women. I've always protected them my whole life. I'm a big guy, 6'3", 250. I've always been a big guy. I was six foot, six foot one, 200 pounds in sixth grade. Always been a protector of women. House full of sisters growing up. All daughters, no sons. I look after women. I can't stand to see them being abused and mistreated. And I refuse to watch this game. I refuse to have anything to do with it because it's sick and because this is attached to it. Christian, you do what you want to do. Even if you're a non-Christian, how can you support this when this happens to the girls? You know why? Because women and girls get treated like garbage around the face of the planet. They have very little value in men's eyes and most men's eyes. Not in mine. I protect them, I look after them, and above all, Jesus Christ does too. So you think about that when the game comes on tomorrow. This is a Christian channel, so if you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. You guys take care of yourselves. This world makes me sick. I can't stand it here anymore.